Hey, what's up guys? This is J-Rob. I want to make a quick video on being cost effective. First and foremost, I want to apologize. I haven't made videos lately. I've been very busy. I hope you guys can understand. I've um, been working and doing a whole bunch of other things. Please forgive me. Um, if, you, you, if you're still subscribed to me, um, I appreciate your support so much. Thank you so much. I mean, I'm not in it to get paid by Google. I'm not in it for anything. I, I like making videos, um, whatever. You guys can help me out with any information that I didn't know about that I could learn from. You know, it's it's all about that, you know, all about linking up and, uh, and sharing knowledge, you know. And especially if you are a gun enthusiast. Yes, sir. But this video right here is going to be being cost effective with your ammo. Okay, I have two ARs. I have a Glock 19 9mm and I have a fully converted Saiga AK-47 and um, those are the three calibers I want to stick by um, even though the AR shoot 556223 but these are the three main calibers I want to stick by I mean 9mm is cheaper than 40 and 45 it's a uh, effective round it's a round that's been around for years and years and um, I just like 9mm and you can also carry more rounds in your pistol 7.62x39 you could buy the brass 7.62x39 but it's gonna run you like 9 dollars a box for 20 so I'll buy Tula Wolf 7.62x39 spend about like five dollars and some change for a box of 20 and I end up stocking up and, and having a lot of ammo being cost effective Okay, um, five five six two two three. You can also buy Tula and Wolf, and um, buy it for almost a similar same price as the steel case for the seven six two by thirty nine. Or you spend a little bit more, get more better quality ammo, and get some brass um, ammunition. Okay, and you know I'm just trying to put up. You know I'm not gonna go ahead and buy another gun with a different caliber because I'm the type that okay let's say I have the nine millimeter right let's say I go ahead and buy a 40 Smith & Wesson that's more ammo I have to stock up on I'm not gonna have thousands of rounds of 223, 556, 9 millimeter and 762 by 39 and then have the 40 Smith & Wesson and just have like about 200 rounds laying around for the 40 Smith & Wesson I'm gonna make sure I rack up on the 40 Smith & Wesson too so just being cost effective, looking up for the prices on the ammo, how much is gonna run you, how much is gonna cost, can you afford it? I don't like to bite off more than what I could chew. So I usually stick with something that I can afford, something that I can stock up on, and you know, just keep it simple and do what I gotta do. What I also like to do is I like to separate my stock ammo from the ammo that I'm gonna take to the range. The ammo that I'm gonna take to the range, I'll have it laying around. And then the ammo that I stock up on, I will have put away. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me. Everybody does things differently. Everybody has a different way of doing things. Um, by all means, I'm not trying to tell you how to spend your money. You do whatever suits you. But um, other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it a lot. And as always, you guys take care. God bless. And I'm out. Peace.